Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Nature Out Twins. I'm Alani, and today's video is going to be another DIY video. As you can see, I did get another backdrop, but I actually made it. So this is going to be the DIY for today. It's actually tie-dye. It's called a crumble tie-dye, I believe, and I was looking for that, that black and white grayish type of look, but... I bought the black tie-dye and it actually came out blue. I wish you guys could see the true color. It looks like this den darker denim type of color. It's not too bad and it shows up gray on camera so that's good. But I was still a little disappointed. But other than that, I still love this. So yeah, let's get into this video on how to make this. To make this drop for the backdrop, all you're going to need is some type of fabric and I chose to get this flat sheet from Walmart which is a twin size and it was the cheapest thing that I could find at Walmart and it's only $5 and then these tie-dye bottles, they're only $2 each and I got the color black so this cost me less than $10. So first, I started off with um, dampening up my fabric, and then I used the crumble method to achieve the type of like look that I wanted. And right now, I am just using some twine and tying it around like whenever you do t-shirts or whatever, just to keep it all together. Um, the rubber bands weren't big enough, that's why I used the twine and just getting it to the desired look that I want. And then I just took the tie dye and just squirted it everywhere. You just wanna have some darker areas, some lighter areas, and like in between areas to get that contrast and stuff like that. I put a little too much in the front and I used like a bottle and a half less than that. And I could have used like three fourths of one bottle to get this same look. So yeah, you don't need two bottles like I showed you in the beginning. You only really need one and I'm using a rubber band to tighten up the twine so that it really stays together and I'm putting it in a bag so it could sit overnight. So it sit for about 24 hours now and right now I'm just about to cut the twine off so that I could get to the rinsing process. You really want to get all of that excess tie dye out because then it's just going to go everywhere like in your dryer or in your machine like if you want you could have thrown it in the machine but I didn't want it to take out too much of the color so I hand rinsed it I only did it like four or five times but I only showed like twice in the video but yeah here the water shows it's really blue but I rinsed it about four or five times and I really didn't want to try and get all the color out of it so I just left it at that after that I just popped this in the dryer for about 45 minutes and this is how it looks it looks pretty black and white hair but it's honestly like a denim color like a darker jeans color but it's not too bad I still like it and I think it came out really good I was a little scared that it was gonna come out like too um, dark like in these areas but it still looks really nice and I really like how this came out so I came out with hair just because it looks more blue on camera than earlier whenever I showed it but yeah this is how it looks the true color is still not coming through but it is closer than the other one but it still looks pretty good 